All right, super action-packed video. This is gonna be four days packed into one, a rest day, two workout days, no, no a rest day and three workout days. I don't know, it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday video. So, before, I, you know, I just wanted to give you a little warning because it's gonna be a little bit like boom, 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 all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna talk about some cool stuff. I'm gonna tell you about my favorite pig on Instagram. I'm gonna tell you about some four mile run. I'm gonna go for a walk with my doggies around the lake and I hope you're still here. All right, there's your warning. We're getting into a four day one video vlog entry. Let's roll to, what do we start with? Let's start with the walk around the lake. Walk around the lake, let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so let's take stock of where we're at. Welcome to day 66 of marathon training with yours truly. I ran a four mile today. I'll put all the Strava information at the end of this video. A few things I'll take note of in this moment. My girlfriend and I just got these super awesome shirts. So these shirts are a representation of money that we put towards a little piggy that I will put the tag, the handle for um, this pig's Instagram, someplace around here. Nothing too crazy. A little plug, cause it's super cool. And if there's like 10 people that see this, maybe they want a shirt like this. They were like 26 bucks. They're super nice, super soft. They fit awesome. And the main thing is this pig was born with a butthole. Yes, the pig was born with a butthole. So Opal, the name of this pig, has gone through a number of surgeries. Hopefully Opal can have her last surgery. And these t-shirts were helping fund that. So super cool. Check it out if you're interested. Second thing I want to talk about. It's been really cold. I ran today and it was about 14 degrees. So, you know, it's always not gonna, it's that time of year. But also, if you're trying to get ready for April, I need to run. If I'm doing a February half marathon, I need to run outdoors. So, I hope you're dealing with the weather. I'm kind of a newbie when it comes to being a committed runner. This is all kind of new to me. Yeah, having ice like frozen to my face. A little bit uncomfortable, a little bit hard to breathe. It's always a good time. So, um, oh yeah, another thing. I just got this. So this is the Young Nuo Digital Standard Prime Lens. It's a 50 millimeter f1.8. You know, I have a Nikon D3200 that I used for video and photography when I was out in Kansas City. Uh, I was always using either a telephoto lens or like an 18 to 55, you know, kit lenses that, I mean, they did a lot of justice. It was, they, they, they served their purpose really well for me. But, you know, for things like social media photography in general, portraits, I'm really excited to have a lens that is A, a prime lens, because they tend to be just a little bit more crisp. And also the F1.8, having that really low f-stop really lets me open things up, get more light in. I can get my ISO even lower, or at least use it lower. Chances are I can, I can take photos a little bit later during the day. I'll let you know, I'm gonna mess around with this. So we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited to play around with it. That's all I have. Whoa, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's all I have for today. Today, that is day 66 of marathon training with yours truly. All in all, that's where I'm at. That was day 66. As always, ciao for now. I gotta go cook kale for dinner because my family's probably hungry. Peace. <laughs>
still wasn't bad. So on the schedule, it said to do a 30 minute fartlek run. I've been toying with different ways to get in interval, like climb, basically doing shorter, varying up my shorter workout days rather than just doing fartleks. So instead of doing a 30 minute fartlek run, I ran about a mile, almost a mile and a half up the road. It's kind of a steady climb. I did a lot of like dynamic stretching, jog for a bit, side steps, karaoke, stretching the hips, quads, hamstrings, getting the calves a bit loose. I worked my way up, started speeding up, um, doing just like a general opening up the gate in the stride. I get to a hill, it's about, um, I think it's about a 230 foot elevation gain in maybe an eighth of a mile or something climb. So it's a pretty steep climb. Um, I got to the base of that. Went about as hard as I could, maybe like, well, no, went about 80% of that. Really burned out. Felt great, kind of, and then kept, as soon as I got to the top, I turned and did about 8.30 pace from the top of the hill um, the next mile and a half back. Um, so it's almost a three mile run. I think it came to about 2.7, yeah, it came to 2.7 miles. Got some climbing in, got some eight and a half minute pace running in, which I mean, at the end of the day, would be a pretty cool goal eventually. Like when it comes for longer distances, like it's easy to do now doing like a three mile. Obviously when I'm doing 10 mile this Sunday, that will be a bit of a booster. But that is day 67 in the bag. I'll put the information up at the ending screen. Again, loving Strava. As always, ciao for now. Talk to you tomorrow. All right. Welcome to Marathon Training Day 68. I'm sitting here. I just ran a 4.4 mile outside. It's, uh, my phone said it was about 13 degrees. Pretty windy. I got, it was like just ice. It was really cold. Definitely like sprinted the last like quarter mile just to get home. But yeah, so I'll throw some stats up somewhere around here. Kind of a busy time. Family just left this morning from Rochester. Going into New Year's, looking forward to 2018. But yeah, a little organization of life happened today. But in terms of running a marathon and training for one, we did a 4.4 mile. I had my heart rate monitor on, some decent climbs. Um, the second half of the run, it was the E Street climb run. So I'll have two other of the exact same runs on Strava to compare them to. But yeah. Great run. Like I said, I'll throw the stats up. Happy day 68. Hopefully this time of year, you're getting some fitness in somehow. Maybe it's out there freezing your butt off. Or maybe it's inside on a nice treadmill. The treadmill wouldn't be the worst thing. But yeah, that's day 68. As always, ciao for now. Peace.